At the heart of your sales and marketing activities to grow your SaaS business is this one thing. It's your landing page. And a great landing page, whether you have one or not, can really make or break your go-to-market machine. This begs the question, what makes for a great landing page? I've seen completely ugly landing pages that convert at 80%, and I've seen beautifully designed ones that completely miss the mark. So on this episode, based on everything that I've learned around landing pages, I'm gonna give you the best practices and the worst practices that you need to know to really transform your landing pages. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster with an unstoppable strategy. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. That way you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode with the TK Energy. If you are already part of this channel, welcome back. If you're part of my SaaS Go to Market program, welcome back to you as well. It's really great to see you over here. So here's the thing that I learned about landing pages. Don't ever judge a landing page by its cover. You can never tell, I can never tell. You gotta look at the stats. I mean, you look at the conversion rate. How many people look at the landing page? How many people actually fill out the form and become a lead? That's when you'll really know if it's any good or not. And really, the one true way you can really get to a great landing page is you keep testing and tweaking, all right? Now, given that, what are the things that are absolute must-dos and don't-dos? What are the essentially the best practices and the worst practices when it comes to a great landing page? Having created tons of landing pages, having critiqued them, having tweaked them, having coached people through them, I'm gonna give you the three core principles that you absolutely need to know to make your landing pages incredibly effective. So if you're excited to dig in, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let's go to principle number one. Principle number one, and I hinted at this already a little bit, is you gotta think about form and function more than anything else. Form and function, meaning does it load quickly? Is it easy to read? Can screen readers actually parse them? Can you actually look at it on mobile and on desktop and it's just easy to understand what you're offering and fill out the form versus some pretty complicated interactions, some pretty graphics, a whole lot of text, no clear button, no clear form. That's the first thing they absolutely don't understand in principle number one. Principle number one is you gotta think about form and function more than anything else. Form and function will really determine whether when someone lands on your landing page, can they actually interact with it? If this is a whole new way of interacting, you're using some fancy new software, they don't quite know what to do with it, they probably won't convert, they'll probably hit the back button. If they come in and they, they can't quite read the text and the graphics are all over the place, they probably won't interact with it. If they come in and it looks really pretty and they're like enamored by it, but there's no like clear articulation of what they're gonna get in a clear form, they're like gonna get bored after two seconds and just leave. So this is why landing pages are where you probably should use the least amount of creativity and focus a lot more on form and function versus trying to make them pretty. If you've been to any one of our landing pages, like go to our SaaS startup growth strategy guide, right? It's black and white. It's a bunch of text and a box. And it's like literally like, here's what you get and here's the form, boom, easy. And they convert at 80%. They convert at 80% when they come from YouTube because it's warm traffic. They convert at 60% when we run ads to them. The reason they do so well is because it's just straightforward. You know exactly what you're getting. The form and function is what we put first. And believe me, we've tested a whole bunch of different styles of this. So form and function, that's principle number one when it comes to your landing pages. Principle number two is there should only be one call to action with two to three fields max. I've been to landing pages where you pretty much want like my social security number, my email, my phone number, what company I'm at, how many employees I have, what the revenues are, and I'm like, I don't even know you, like stop it. Landing page in a lot of ways is a first date. It's like you don't wanna to go too deep in it, you don't wanna talk politics, you don't wanna talk about any pers like incredibly personal stuff, you just wanna to get to understand and know each other, right? So this is why it's super important to have one call to action with just two to three fields. Hey, here, like fill out this form, you're gonna get what we promised to you, name, email, button, and that's it. And maybe you add one more just to qualify the leads, like maybe you ask like what stage they're in. You'll see this, like we only have three fields and we've tested this, anything more than that, it just the con conversion rates is completely drop. The other thing that's important around this is you wanna make sure that you don't have the nav a navigation, you don't have a footer, you don't have long sections where you're scrolling forever on this landing page, and people even forgot that you have to fill out a form to get to something, because they're just gonna scroll, 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 and everything they scroll through is one way that you can convince them that they don't need your thing, and so they're just gonna leave instead of filling out the form. So it's super important, the best practice is to make sure that you have one call to action, 
two to three fields. And the worst practice is when you start to put in the nav and the footer and all these long sections and all this stuff. Like you don't wanna do any of those things. Simple page, form and function, one to two to three fields, one button, boom, like straight forward. You guys starting to get this? Now, before I go into principle number three, let me just pause here for a second. If you're starting to see the power in this, like landing pages particularly, this is not your homepage, that's different. Landing pages is about getting someone to respond. It's about getting someone to take action. It's about being very clear and saying, look, all roads lead to this form, fill out this form and this button, you get this thing. That's what the best landing pages are. It's not complicated, but you gotta like stay very disciplined to make sure that you stick with this. If you're starting to see the power in this, can I just get a yes in the comments below? Also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really likes it when you do that and so does my team and we really appreciate when you do that. Also, we really appreciate when you comment as well. It just means the world to us. Now, if you're building out landing pages, it means that you're also building out your go-to-market strategy. You're trying to figure out, well, what should our landing page be for? What is our lead magnet? Well, how do we drive traffic to it? How do we actually generate these? How do we nurture these leads after they come through? Do they go to a trial? Do they go into a sales process? These are all things that go into building a go-to-market machine. If you're building a go-to-market machine, this is why I created my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. Inside of this program, I give you the step-by-step -step process and the coaching to actually build your scalable go-to-market machine so you don't have to piece it together, make the, all the mistakes that people tend to make. I'll tell you more about that program at the end of this video. Let's go to principle number three. Principle number three is you need to have a clear articulation of the results of what they're actually gonna get and not your life story, right? The best practice here is be super clear about what they are gonna get, the viewer, the visitor, who it's for and what are they gonna get. Hey, welcome to the SaaS Growth Strategy Guide. When you download the SaaS Growth Strategy Guide, I'm gonna give you the five key pillars that exist to grow your SaaS business and how to create a strategy around them. Give me your name, give me your email, tell me what stage you're in, download. Boom, that's it, clear articulation. It's for SaaS founders, we're gonna help you grow. How are we gonna help you grow? Well, we have five, five key pillars for our SaaS business, we're gonna teach you how to do that. That's it. Clear articulation is super important in landing pages. And this kind of builds on each other, right? This just goes to show, it doesn't matter how pretty it is, it matters what you're saying, what you're promising. So the copy ends up being more important than anything else. And so what you don't wanna do is go into describing how you guys are gonna disrupt some crazy category or you're this revolutionary AI platform. They're just not gonna trust you. What they wanna know is literally for this step, for me to fill out the form, what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get a PDF guide. Okay, what is that PDF guide? It's gonna teach you how to do this. What is that thing? Is it important to me? What happens if I don't download this? Those are the kind of things that clearly articulates what you're gonna get and why you should fill out that form. And that's the copy, that copy, that messaging is what really gets those 60 to 80% conversion rates. So when you nail it, it works really, really well. So principle number three is have a clear articulation of the results you're gonna deliver and what they're gonna get. And that's the copy that goes in the landing page versus your company's history or a life story or you're backed by a certain investor, like no one cares. They're not gonna fill out a form. It just doesn't, doesn't convert at that point. So to recap, number one, Principle number one, form and function first, not prettiness. Number two, only one call to action. Don't have a nav, don't have a footer, don't have a long section, just one call to action with two to three fields, so all roads lead to that form and they become a lead. And number three, clear articulation of the results you're gonna get by filling out this form, at least so that they know like, okay, if I give them my email address, here's what I'm gonna get, it seems like worth it, let's go do it. Now. Those are the three core principles, the best practice and the worst practice that what you wanna avoid for building a successful landing page. Now, if you're building out a landing page, if you're likely building out a SaaS go-to-market machine. This is why I invite you to apply to join my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. Inside of this program, I give you the step-by-step -step process for building out your ICP, your ideal customer profile, your messaging, so you know what to put in a landing page, your manifesto, and I teach you exactly how to build out the landing pages, the funnels, and also how to generate traffic through inbound, outbound, and ABM so that you can actually have a scalable go-to-market machine. A lot of these components go into building a scalable go-to-market machine. And I have a lot of public videos that teach you the principles, but inside of the coaching program, I teach you the step-by-step -step process, and every week we meet to actually make sure that you're doing it and I coach you through tweaking it. And that's the power, you get much faster results, you reduce execution risk. We have over 50 founders in the program right now and it's quickly growing, so if you're building out your SaaS go-to-market machine, be sure to check out my program. Now, it is application only, the better the fit, the better the results. So the way it works is you go to tkkater.com slash GTM, that's the page, it'll tell you all the details around the program and you can apply to join. 
Once you apply to join, you'll answer a couple of questions. If you match it, then we'll get on a call, we'll learn about your SaaS business, and then I'll tell you like, hey, we can help you. If we, and if we can help you, we'll get you into the program and we're off to the races and we'll get you quick results in building a scalable go-to-market machine. That's uh, the entire program. So building on a landing page, you like the building on a go-to-market machine, check out the SaaS go-to-market coaching program, tkcater.com slash GTM. Now, if you got value from this video, be sure to smash that like button as well for the YouTube algorithm. It just means the world to us. If you have a fellow founder that would get value from this, please share this video. Put a lot of love into these videos, a lot of thought into these videos. We wanna make sure that we're impacting as many SaaS founders as possible. And lastly, we drop a video like this three times a week. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon if you haven't already. And lastly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business, but when you are with us, yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK, and I'll see you in the next episode or in the go-to-market coaching program call. Either way.